So I found out the hard way when I got my first mountain bike, which I bought used from someone, that uh, if you let all the air out of a tubeless tire, you can't just pump it up with a bike pump. The reason why I took the tire off is because the guy had it on backwards, so I wanted to switch it around so it was the right way. And then I spent like an hour trying to pump the thing up with a, with a bike pump, and I ended up having to go to the bike shop, and they wanted to charge me like 40 bucks just to re-pump the thing up because they're like, well, it needs new sealant, the this rim tape needs to be done, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, I just wanted to go ride my bike, but because it was my first mountain bike and I had, ne I had never ridden mountain bikes before and I just wanted to get out there and ride. You know, I was kind of annoyed because then they're like, well, you should bring in your other rim. You know, it ended up costing like 80 bucks. And... Um, so then I got a new mountain bike. I gave my son my old mountain bike and he has it in his room and somehow the rear tire just lost its air and I was back in the same boat. And I was, So I went online and um, saw on some YouTube videos how you can make a soda bottle tire inflator, right? So I made my own. And so what I did is I used a two liter soda bottle and I wrapped it with some duct tape just to give a little bit of reinforcing I got a little fancy and made a label for it. And um, so in this area is where I feel like I've made improvements to the ones that I've seen people doing online. It has to do with the method of attaching this tube to the old valve stem. I don't feel that hot glue or electrical tape is really sufficient. So what I did is I just got a really small hose clamp and tighten this sucker on there and that's the most secure possible way to fasten this tubing onto this valve stem. The other thing I did is I safety wired the bottle cap onto the end of the bottle because I'm just a little paranoid about the bottle cap blowing off this thing and scaring the crap out of me when I pump it up to 100 psi and this is just like um, I believe it's picture frame hanger wire and you know we just kind of wired it up to uh, make it so that the cap can't possibly come off so, so I think that's an improvement over what I've seen other people do and then so so I made this thing and I discovered that I had forgotten that my son's bike actually has Schrader valves on it like a car tire would have so I was initially not able to use this tube, so I had to come up with an adapter. And I just happened to have a piece of steel tubing that is exactly the right size, so I can just slip this tube into this adapter, put this on the Schrader valve, and uh, it, it will pump up the tire beautifully. It Yes, it's not a really tight fit, but... Um, the air will take the path of least resistance and it'll inflate the tire beautifully when you have the valve core removed. Once you've got all the air in the tire and the beads are seated, just stick that valve core in there real quick and tighten it up and you're good to go. Now, the other thing I thought I'd mention is that, you know, these videos are made in apparently overseas, UK or Russia or whatever. And they're talking about five millimeter tubing, internal diameter, and there I can't find that here in the U.S. So what I had to get is I went down to Lowe's and found this tubing with three sixteenths internal diameter, five sixteenths outside diameter. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll find a store will sell this to you in like length per foot. But I had to buy <laughs> I had to buy like. Uh, 20 feet of this to accomplish what I want but so that's my dirt cheap do-it-yourself two-trick pony soda bottle tire inflator